welcome you to Wall 2018. $250,000 on the line here. And we welcome you to Cleveland, Ohio. It is WAL 403, our fourth year of the WAL, our third event in this Super Match Showdown Series. Great to have you with us here from the legendary Agoria Theater here in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Fans are ready. My name is Ben Holden alongside my broadcast partner, Max Taubin. And Max, you've had success. You won in Chicago. The feeling of getting a win in this super match series, what's it like as a competitor? Uh, ben, it, it feels too good. I mean, you're talking about you have a huge crowd in front of you. You're pinning your opponent. It's one of the best feelings you can feel. Success. That's it. This field tonight, another stacked field, will have six matches. You'll want to be sure you stick around for all of them, but the fifth and sixth match, the main event, so to speak. Your thoughts on this field and the competitors we have in it here tonight, Max? Every match will be your war. I uh, mean, I'm excited to see every match, honestly. Uh, yeah, of course, the fifth and sixth matches are the most, you know, they're the most hyped up. They're the most lucrative. They're, they have everything on the line, but every match can be very exciting, Ben. We'll have Angie Rose and Tamara Mitz going in our women's division. Tony Katowski, a couple of years ago, he won both hammers in his division. He's here competing for the first time this season in this Supermatch series. The Hale Razors here, Jeff Hale. So many storylines, Ben, I can't even talk about it because there's too many like storylines to go into it, but know this, every match is an exciting war. Every match, please just tune in. Well, we'll tell you this too, there are two products of Ohio that are in this event here tonight. The folks that are in our audience will appreciate this. Paul Talbot, he's an Ohio native. So too is Quinlan Mendez. Max, let's get your thoughts as we go match by match here and give us a thought on each match as we get set to go. Uh, Paul Talbot, the favorite in his match. Sam Harris, the favorite in his match. Quinlan Tony, honestly, even though Quinlan's the local favorite, that match is a coin flip. Tamara Mitz and Angie, coin flip. Nick Zinn and my mask, coin flip. Final round. Uh, let's just say it's going to be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that is one way indeed to put it, no question about it. So a great, great match card here tonight. And we now give you a look for those of you watching on BR Live, our rules of the game here in the WAL. The referee begins the match by centering the competitor's hands on the table. The hands must be level, close, and tightly set. If their grip slips, they will be placed in the strap. During the match, the arm wrestlers must keep their elbow on the pad at all times. To win the match, a competitor must touch his opponent's hand or wrist to the pad or break the plane of the pin line. Three fouls is a loss. So those are your rules of the game. Earlier today, my broadcast partner, Max Tobin had a chance to catch up with one of the guys going in this first match of the night. He's one of the men I mentioned here from Ohio, from Highland Town, Ohio. Here is Max Tobin with Paul Talbot earlier today. Paul, we're heading into your first super match of this season. Tell me how you're feeling. How's your preparation been? Uh, I'm excited, you know. Um, preparation's been good. Um, really don't know what to think. Um, it's my first actual year at middleweight. Um, don't really know the competition, you know. I've seen them arm wrestle and stuff, but uh, it's my first real matchup in the middleweight, so I'm pretty excited to see, you know, how my training's going to work out for me. Have you and Bill ever gripped up? No, never, ever. Shook his hand quite a few times, but it, that's it as far as, you know, gripping up. Uh, I've never arm wrestled. I've seen him arm wrestle. He's a great arm wrestler, you know. Um, respect the guy tremendously. But as far as uh, arm wrestling or even after pulling, I never have. 
So does that change your strategy at all going to a match for someone you've never pulled and you maybe never felt his power? Does that change your strategy? Um, not not really because I know what I'm good at. You know, I, I, I know my, my power points and um, I know somewhat where he's powerful so just just staying in my power and out of his is is the main goal today all right awesome best of luck today we're looking forward to it all right back to you ben all right max thanks we appreciate paul talbot taking some time as all our competitors do here today today's stream is brought to you by br live launching on a number of connected devices this summer including apple tv roku and amazon fire tv Inching closer we are, Max Tom, into the first match of the night. For more, let's go to our public address announcer, Justine Greenwald. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the first match of WAL 403 Cleveland. Our opening bout this evening is a best of five middleweight matchup. Competing out of Weybridge, Vermont, is one of the toughest competitors the WAL. He stands at six foot tall, 204 pounds. He's the marathon man, Bill Sinks. <laughs> now his challenger is one of the most decorated competitors in the WAL with three championship titles in the lightweight class before moving up to the middleweight. He stands at six foot tall and weighs 203 pounds out of Highland Town, Ohio, the assassin Paul Yeah! Yep. The crowd is certainly into it here for Paul Talbot. He is going to have as well, and there's also the incentive of that handful of $100 bills, our money girl tonight, Lauren Helton is trotting around and throwing into the middle of the pit, Max. Here we go, Paul Talbot. Let's look into the tail of the tape. Give us your thoughts on this, and you see what Talbot's done on the right, and both men, what do you think? Uh, Paul Talbot's a recent success. You know, he's, uh, uh, you're talking about a, up to the moment champion, Gentlemen. Bill Sinks, long term. He's a veteran. This is a very Paul, interesting matchup. Heard yeah. our referee, Bart Wood, who's Mike Bazar, our competitors. In the three we've done, Max, I haven't heard a crowd this loud. This is going to be electric tonight. I'm excited. The crowd's into it. These matches are hyped up. Let's go. Let's see it. Bring that up. Here we go. Close your thumbs. Go, go, pull away a little bit. I got it. Stay away from that. Pull the pull. Pull the pull. Pull the pull. There we go. Coming. Shoulder. Coming. Shoulder. 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 Pull. Pull. What's the matter, Paul? What's the matter? What's the matter, Paul? Down. Let's go. Down. 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 I'll get it. You got it. I'll call it. Relax. Right there. Shoulder. Down. Down. Look at that. You You're going to cover. Let that go. You're going to cover. Let that go. Let that. Trying to come really? down. Really? Here I'll we go. go. Let me do my job. Right, Don't stop. Go. He's closing his hand already. He's closing. Straight him out. Close your thumbs. Come this way. Square up, Paul. Each Stay guy down. looking Stay for an down. ideal grip. Close your hands. No. no. And the edge you can get. Foul foul on Bill Sinks. Three fouls, of course, you lose the pull. That's just one on him in the best of five, Max. You know, it's a first match. These guys, yeah, these guys are geared up. Uh, let's look at a replay of this foul. It looks like Bill sinks with an early move. He gets called for a false start. Yep, false start. Down or up. Low, low, low. Tight and low, tight and low. Here we go. I'll get it tight. Bart Wood, his wife Jen there helping out on the table. Our officials here for these super match. Ben, the, uh, the strap's being tightened. And as soon as that strap's tightened, we'll see who the stronger man is. We will get engaged at that point. Elbow down, elbow down. His elbow's 
Set your elbows. Back Bill up. looking for more technique. Paul looking for more power. Yep. Square up. Here we go. Set your elbows. I'm a, you're going to get two fouls, Bill. Okay. Gotta go Paul's way. Here it is. Oh, it's another foul. So that's two now. So Sink's in danger of losing the pull if he fouls again. He's a little nervous. He's a little anxious. I mean, he wants to get down to it. Here we go. Let's see a match. Let's see a round. Come on. Wow. Wow. You're hey. As soon as you climb, you're popping your elbow up the grip. That's unfortunate. That is incredibly that's unfortunate. A, that's a round to Paul Talbot without even a pin. Three fouls. Wow. So 90 seconds in between pulls. And again, I go back to the, the previous two. I, I don't recall seeing that in any of the, the matches we've had this year in this Supermatch Showdown Series. Do you? You know, Bill in that fashion? Yeah, well, Bill Six was a little anxious. He was a little anxious. He was making early twitches, early moves. Uh, you know, Bartway didn't, then he wasn't going to go through with that. No movement before the grip, no movement before he says go. Three fouls in a row. Yep, indeed the case. While we've got time now, let's take a little bit more in-depth look at our tail of the tape here, Max, between these two competitors and your thoughts on these specialty categories. I mean, what stands out to me is Paul Talbot. He not only is having the speed, but he's got the endurance and the hand controls. If it goes into a hook, Paul Talbot all day. The table IQ to make an adjustment, Paul Talbot. The pedigree and the recent experience, Paul Talbot. I'm rooting for Bill Sinks to make it a war, but Paul Talbot's the favorite. I can't lie. Very good. So time continues to tick as we await our second pull here in this best of five. Talbot, a one nothing lead after three fouls on Sinks. The crowd wants to see it. The crowd wants a match. Come on. Right Just here, say, on, ready, go. Close your hand. Okay. Really? 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 You did right it. Right now. Now. Wow. I didn't, he was talking his same no. cover back. Listen, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Bill, okay. look at me. When I'm telling you to close, you're, you're coming up. You're advancing in setup. It's a rule. You cannot do that. It's what jitters, time? you know, it's a little bit of jitters, it's a little yeah. bit of anxiety. You want to just go, you want to just hammer into the match. And yeah, I mean, he's jittering, he's going a little bit early, and Bart's calling him for it. Bart's the best in the business, and the strap applied on these two. I know what I'm doing. Who's going to take this? Bill Sinks, he wants the strap, and he wants to make this about endurance. Paul Talbot, he's got a lot of power. He's got a lot of drive. Bill Sinks wants to make this more of an endurance and pet match where you can wear him out and bleed him out. Sit down, both of you, now. Here we go. Tighten your wrist. If I feel hot, next elbow goes up and foul. Tighten your wrist. Here we go. We think. <laughs> I'm excited. Come on, let's see around. The crowd's ready. We're ready. We're all let's ready. see it. Come on. Down, yeah. Down. This is the WAL. Let's go. Bill, you're raising your elbow. You're going to foul out again. I'm just trying to hold it. Close your hands. Go. There it is. Wow. Paul Talbot with the drive. Wow. Yes. Paul Talbot with the horsepower. Goodness. He's ready. He, he came ready, Ben. He came ready. He did. The home state product. About an hour and 45 minutes away from home, he told me this morning as we look back at his win in the second pull match. I mean, this is power. This is power. Forget technique. Paul Talbot with the stronger arm and the stronger side pressure. And he just took it. it I don't see him losing this match. I'll be honest. He looks too strong. He's he's similar in in this way to Quinlan Mendez. He's he's a guy about heart and desire. Aside from the fact that they're also both Ohio natives, but they're very similar. They remind me that way. What what do you think about that? I gripped up with Paul Talbot before the tournament started. Left handed, not his yep. not his pulling arm. Yep. The man was extraordinarily strong. I did not see I did not see him losing. I did not.
Well, Talbot's put on 25 pounds in the last couple of years. 2017 took first in the middleweight in the left hand and 14 and 15 first as well in the left hand. Is there any hope in your mind for Sinks to come back here? Bill's got to find an angle. He's got to find a top roll. He's got to get Paul away from his power, away from his arm, because Paul's arm is just too strong at the moment. So the time winding down here, 90 seconds between rounds here in these best of fives. That man there, Paul Talbot, a 2-0 lead. Needs a pin to win it in a clean sweep here, Max. Yeah. Talbot's Does he do it in position. this one? Talbot's in position. The crowd's behind him. Let's see it. Let's just go. Come on. Stay right there. Right there. Neither one of you. Hey, listen, listen. It's real simple, gentlemen. Close your thumb, close your hand. Any movement's a foul. A head ref Barwood does not want to see movement before no. the grip. He, he doesn't want to see movement. Wow. Keep your hands foul. I'm holding you in place and you're pulling back. One foul. Wow. So that foul on strap. Bill Sinks and he's going to strap him up. You're giving that much pressure when I let go, you snap back. Can't do it. Okay. Sinks calls. Weybridge, Vermont, his hometown, lived there for 20 years, been the volunteer fire chief the last 18 years. He's gonna need some fire to try to come back here. Yeah, I mean, Paul is the is the veteran in a sense of recent competition. Yes. Paul's been competing the last few years constantly, every few months, big tournament, and he's been winning. He's had a winning pedigree. So the confidence and just the experience of local competition, he's ready to go, he's ready to finish this. Here we go. champ in the WAL on the left. He's on the right here tonight. Foul. Two fouls wow. on Bill Sinks. Wow. That's two fouls. One more. Two, settle down. I'm holding him down. Paul wants to pull. Paul wants a match. Oh, yeah. Paul wants a real match. Here we go. Stop rising. Close your hands. Go. There it is. There it is. Paul's in control. Paul looks into the crowd. Wow. Yes. Yes. He's, oh, Talbot's in control. Here we go. It's the Paul Talbot show. What's he got? There it is. And it's a pin. 3-0 Paul Talbot. A clean sweep for Talbot. He's a train conductor for Norfolk Southern Railroad, and he was Driving that train, no problem tonight. There's the cash oh. in hand for Talbot, the home state boy. Hey, bringing all those blue hunters to his family. <laughs> That's going to make him family proud. Here we go. It'll be a happy Father's Day for Talbot. It will be as well, too, for Jason Zone Fisher, who looks well rested because him and his wife recently had a baby, Violet Stanley Fisher. Congrats to you on that. It's all yours, Jason. Thanks, Ben. Appreciate that. Haven't slept in two weeks. <laughs> Paul, the hometown guy, home state. How good does it feel to get a win here in front of your OHIO home crowd? OH! Feels great. You know, my, my whole family and friends got to come and, and see me, you know, this moment in my hometown. So it's great. I feel feel stoked. It's an amazing win for you. Now, there was obviously a lot of false starts there, a lot of fouls. How hard is it for you to stay in the zone, to stay focused, to maintain the strength you need to win? Right, because it, it, it's, it's all taxing on you, you know, so it's, it's hard to stay in the moment, but you got to just fight your urges and try to keep your hand from blowing up. But uh, it all worked out, so I'm happy about it. Well, your amazing job, it worked out. Congratulations. Ben, back to you. Enjoy this. Thanks so much, Jason and Paul Talbot. Cash in the left hand, the assassin comes in and does what he wanted to do as we take a look back at some of his work here, Max. I mean, Paul was in control. He looked like his arm was superior in strength. Bill couldn't really get much going. He couldn't take his hand. He couldn't get in the angle that he wanted. Paul just looked like the spirit athlete. He had position the whole time. I mean, you see it right there. Yeah. With his hand in that angle, I don't know if anyone in the world can feel Paul Talbot in that angle. He is a strong, strong man indeed. Is 
Paul Talbot, who walks away with a, the cold hard cash. He gets our first match of the night underway. Still a great card. We've got all kinds of great competition coming your way, and we're looking forward to having all the great folks in our audience here with us tonight as well. As joined by Max Talbot, my name is Ben Holden, all of our crew, and off to a good start. Uh, great energy in here. Crowd's excited. The matches are exciting, and uh, I can't wait to see the other ones. I'm very uh, interested to see what happens. Looking forward to it. Let's get back to Jason Fisher, who's got more now with Bill Sinks. Thanks, guys. I'm with Bill Sinks. Bill, what in your mind happened out there? Obviously, there was a lot of fouls called on you, had some trouble getting started. Did that take you out of your game, having to deal with that? Well, it definitely uh, affected my performance. You know, when you're anytime you're 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 already competing against a competitor, and you got to be uh, top of your game to do that. And then if you're fighting with the refs, which I don't necessarily put it as fighting with it, but it's like you have to deal with that, and that's challenging as well. So all those things combined, no excuses. You know, Paul felt good. He did great. You know, he he was the winner tonight. That second match, I felt pretty good. I, I was in my comfort zone. I stopped him, even in a, even in a defensive position. But Paul pulled through it. He did a great job. So kudos to him. Well, you're an experienced puller. You'll be back, too. We look forward to it. Good luck. Thanks, Bill. Ben, Max, back to you guys. Thanks so much, Jason. We look back at the final pin from Talbot one more time, Max. I mean, Talbot was in control. I mean, in a superior hand. He was just, he was dominant. He, he was dominant in the win, and he proved he's an elite competitor no matter what weight class he's in. He is. We'll be back with a lot more here on BR Live from the Agora Theater in downtown Cleveland right after this. And we welcome you back to the Agora Theater here in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. It is WAL 403, one match complete. Paul Talbot, a 3 nothing win. We'll be joined here in our set momentarily by Dave Chafee. But first, here is Bart Wood in the pit now, speaking WAL. Hi, I'm Bart Wood, head referee of the World Arm Wrestling League. We're going to learn how to speak WAL. This is the arm wrestling peg. The peg is what the competitors have to hold on to the entire match. If their hand comes off, it's a foul. This is the elbow pads. The competitor must maintain contact with the top of the elbow pad at all times during the match. If they come off or pop up, that's a foul. This is the pin pad. A competitor must pin their opponent by coming all the way over to the pin pad or breaking the plane of the pin pad coming below it. You get pinned by your wrist to fingertip going below that plane at any point. During a match, you might see a slip. That's when we bring out the WAL strap. I take the two competitors, have their hands palm to palm, put the strap on, wrap it around both of them so they're pulled tight and they are tied to one another. There's nowhere to run, there's nowhere to hide. And we welcome you back inside. For those of you watching on BR Live, good explanation there from Bart Wood, the veteran in the pit, our head referee here for the WAL. Maxwell, we got a chance here before our next match, which will feature Sam Harris and Jeff Hale. Let's take a look at Sam Harris. You know Sam very well. What does he do that makes him the competitor and arm wrestler he is so well? I mean, Sam's my boy. He's a top level elite lightweight puller and uh, he's dangerous. He could be he could be in anybody in the class and honestly, he's the favorite in this match. All right. On the other side, Jeff Hale really talking to him this morning. He said it's really been a couple of years for him since he's gone in a competitive setting like this. That probably will have an effect on him, won't it? I mean, Jeff Hale's the the veteran compared to Sam, but but he hasn't had the recent success that Sam has. So he's a little bit trying to get in his mojo, get in his game, and see if he's still at the top of his level. It's pretty good there. And Jeff Hale is a very talented individual, not only in arm wrestling, but what he does for a living. A very unique job. He's a geologist consultant, something that runs in his family. Here's a closer look at Jeff Hale. Bruce Lee said this, 
Empty your mind. Be shapeless, formless, like water. Put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. Water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. My name is Jeff Hale. I'm 33 years old. I'm a lightweight arm wrestling world champion, consulting petroleum geologist, and I'm a total nerd. Expelliarmus! Imperial. Avada Kedavra! Crucio! <laughs> Me and my wife love Harry Potter and Doctor Who. If it's science fiction, you name it, I like it. We've even dressed up as two of Doctor Who's companions at a Comic-Con before. We're big nerds. I'm proud to say it. Look at my glasses. I got the muscles to back it up on the table, but this is me. This is Jeff Hale. Flank right. No, you flank right. No, your other right. Come on, dude. I like playing video games. I've even played competitively on game battles. My favorite game, Gears of War. You charge, I'll cover. Go, 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 go. Whether it's on the arm wrestling table or playing video games. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Yeah, nice shot, dude. I like getting achievements. You got all the treasure again. I don't think it makes a difference. It does too, you get all the treasure every time. When we are teammates, he still always tries to one-up me and he has a very competitive nature. He always likes to win. <laughs> I'm a hobbyist. I like fast cars. It brings out an adrenaline rush that I can only experience in one other place, and that's up on the arm wrestling table. My power is genetic. It came from my father, but there's another thing. He is the source of the Hellraiser. He is the original Hellraiser. The Hellraiser is a demon. I don't know if I can control him. You know, if you think of it, it's kind of like Bruce Banner and the Hulk. There's a serious struggle between those two. It's a hero struggle. But at the same time, it may be a hero's return. Great look there at Jeff Hale, and looking forward to seeing him pull here against his competitor tonight, Sam Harris. For more, let's go to the public address announcer, Justine Greenwald. The next match is a best of five middleweight classic battle. He resides in New Paris, Pennsylvania. One of the youngest guns of the WAL with a record of 26 wins and seven losses. At five foot 11, weighing in at one. Yeah! <laughs> he is a showman. Yes. He is a terrific showman, is Hale. Yeah. Incredibly talented in so many ways. And there's our money girl tonight, Lauren Hell. More cash on the table, Max. Here we go. This is the match of the night for me. You're talking two of the top tier elite lightweights in the world. Here we go. Let's look at the tail of the tape. Let's do it. Ben, this matchup is stacked as a very competitive matchup. Similar weight, similar pedigree. Both these guys are elite lightweights. Here we go. Who's going to be the better man? And Jeff Hale on the right. Sam Harris on the left. Let's listen to Bart Wood. Elbows down. Okay. Close your thumbs. Stay right there, gentlemen. Close your hands. Go! Stop! Oh! Ah! They both wanted that slip. Yeah, ben, they, they, wa they both wanted the strap. They both feel that they're superior there. But Thanks, I'm not going to lie to you. Sam Harris is the favorite in the strap. Hey, just relax. Style right versus now, style. Right? Sam has the tools to beat Jeff. Higher low, Jeff. No. AC joint injury that Sam, Hale suffered. Said no. so the last time he. 
competed competitively. It was two years ago in London in an event put on by our good friend Neil Pickup. Jeff Hale's been an elite lightweight for the past five years, but you're talking Sam Harris is the man in the last couple of years. He, he's in the top two in the world, top three in the world. So Sam's the favorite, and Jeff's the underdog. Even though it should, it might be the, it should be the other way around. Jeff, I can feel everything in my hand. And you can see in the first round, there's a lot of anxiety. Both these guys want to grip and rip. Here we go, Bart Wood with the setup. Wrist straight, wrist straight, right here. Close your thumb. There it is, Ben. They're about to say go. Let's go. I got it, I got it. Foul. Thank one you. foul. So the foul Four call the center, one foul. on Sam Harris here in our first Don't be scared, bro. pull in this best of five. Do not pull off center. I just want to see it. Let's Close go. Just say go. There it is. Sam yes. Harris is in control. It's over. It's over. Look it's over. It's not even close. My boy Sam Harris is too strong. Wow. Jeff Hale holds him. Wow. My goodness. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Harris takes the first pull. He leads 1-0. Sam the Harris, the stud. Look at him showing up and making a show. Let's go. Start calling him the hammer. Yeah. 2016, broke onto the scene, was third in the lightweight in Vegas on the right hand. He looked great here as we look back. Look Max. at the replay, Sam Harris with the hand control. Jeff's just holding him, and Jeff knows it. He's in a bad spot. Yeah. He is in a tough spot, outside his shoulder. He knows he can't keep holding him, and Harris with the finish. So the last time, in talking to both men this morning, the last time they both competed was 12 and 13 in an event in Columbus. Hale won both of those, so if you don't think that's on his mind, you're Sam, wrong. Yeah, Sam pulled Jeff when Sam was still early in his career, right. a year or two in. Now Sam's in his prime. Yep. You're talking this is the biggest and strongest Sam Harris to ever step on the table, and he's proven it right now. With his brother in the corner. Yep. Mentioned, Here we go. Mentioned what and you saw what Jeff Hale does for a living. Sam Harris, a commercial roofer, so he's running around laying roofs. That is a tough way to make a living. Got a lot of respect for both these men. Sam Harris, he, he, he's coming with a lot of pedigree and a lot of confidence because not only has he won the big tournaments, he's proven himself as a top tier elite athlete. And really, Jeff Hale, he, he's, he's a little nervous because he's facing the best of the best as far as these days, who's the man in the lightweight category? Stay down, Sam Harris. Stay down. Stay down. Close your hands. Oh, I see your knuckle. I gotta come down, Sam. Close your thumb. Stay down. I gotta see this right here. Close your hand. Go! Oh, and they're off. They're off! Sam Harris with the hand control. Oh! Oh, wow! Sam thinks it's over. Hale says to finish it. He yep. says finish he it. Did. Harris says you can't move me. <laughs> Hale's laughing. So Here Sam. it is. There it is. Oh, it's a strap. Yep. They we'll both do the it. Strap in the second pull in this best of five. Yeah, I mean they knew it was gonna slip, but I think Sam, he had everything he wanted there. I think Sam's confidence is just building. Let's look at this. No movement to set up. <laughs> you know that feeling, right? What's that feeling like when you're up there and you know? You just tell your opponent, nope, not your day. My time. I'm the man today. And that's what Sam's saying right now okay. with his actions. Don't move. Don't move at all. Oh, but the hail razor's coming out. The talking's coming out. The mind games are coming out. He's trying to throw Sam Harris off his angle. I feel everything, bro. Foul. He feels everything. Oh, foul on Sam Harris. Yes. Hale's playing the ref like a deck of cards in his favor. So, Bart Wood applying the strap. One foul on Sam Harris. He leads the match 1-0. 
Schiet het al in, dan het schiet dan. He's coming to my side, Bart. You're pulling me across the table. I'm not, we're not even strapped up. You can't even feel it. Crowd into it here in Cleveland. Second match of six here in the Supermatch Showdown here Series. Here we go. This is it. This match is going to tell the fight. This match is going to be everything. Here we go. Oh! Jeb Hale's trying to turn it inside. Can he do it? He's close. Sam goes inside. The match is inside. Oh! It's getting heated, Ben. I Ooh, love it. That is some intensity. That wow. is boiling hot in the pit as we look back here, Max. Look at this replay. Jeff Hale takes control, and right away he starts taunting him. What, what's up? What's up now? Oh! The Hale Racers in the building, baby. Wow. One to one. Anybody's <laughs> match. Let's see it. Indeed. First match went 3 0 to Paul Talbot. This one, square at one apiece, 90 seconds between pulls. Any uh, advantage right now? It's tied up, does either one have an advantage in your mind or is it dead even? Ben, right now, dead even. Okay. Right now, anybody's match. This round is gonna, tail, is gonna tell everything. This round is everything. Now, we haven't worked together that long, but when you've made predictions like that, you've been pretty good at it. This round is everything, and I'm expecting Sam to make a statement. All right. I'm expecting Sam with a big win in this round, but honestly, it's anybody's fight. I know you want to show, but I'm even know I fucking know you. Less us than a bark. 20 seconds away, they're both amped and at the table already. Oh, uh, here it is. Close your hands. Go! Strap time. Anybody could have predicted that. Straight to the straps. Yep. These guys want to make it about power. I can feel it, bro. Okay, what we're going to do, I'm going to have Jen hold both your hands right there. No one Watch move. him come to my side. I don't want him on my side. Right here's well, the middle. Don't pull me first there. A little bit lower if you don't mind. Wherever you like it. Guys, that was Everybody. Oh, my God. This is pivotal, Ben. This yeah. oh, round, yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. this no, round yeah. will dictate the match. Right now, this round is everything. Winner of this round, in my prediction, wins the match. Very good. Right now. Let's see if let him fall out, I'll foul him. Harris with the good side, Harris with the position. I'm calling him. Okay. I mean, that's my boy when I'm calling him. Dude. I will call any movement from this point forward. Yeah, any, party move. anything. Party Bart's not Bart messing around. It's, strength. it's been a trying time. Yeah. It's his cadence or anything. Way on my side. I don't like strapping it up. With it I'll move into side. center. Starting to get the chatter. Starting to get a little bit of the, the Boy, I tell little, you little nervous comments out. Because both these guys know how pivotal side, this moment is. Too. Right here, this match. What's going to happen? Let's go. The battle never ends. They're good. We're close. Here we Stay go. Right there, gentlemen. This is everything. Right Watch there. this round. Harris with the setup. I like Harris's setup. There it is. Sam Harris. Look at that. Look at that. Jeff with the running foul. Look at my hand. You gave up from the go. Sam Harris takes round three. You called it. He's up 2 1 now. He had the position. He got right into where he wanted to be. Jeff immediately did, a, did not like that. Sam's in control right now. To the respective corners they go as we look back at the pin and the win for Harris. I mean, Sam got what he wanted. Hand on top of Jeff's. 
He's he's cupped. He's in the zone. He's got hand control. Jeff can't take anything from there, and Sam just bleeds him out until he's ready for the pin. There it is. Yep. Sam Harris with the win. Yeah. Oh, and Matt Mask joins his corner in the hoodie. Look at him. <laughs> we'll see Mask in our fifth match of the night. That will be some heavyweight tilt between he and Nick Zinna. Right now, we got Emmanuel, Sam's brother, in his corner. Just uh, relaxing the arm, making sure Sam stays fresh and good. Jeff Hale, he knows he's one <laughs> round away from the loss. So he switches sides. He's got a win to force a fifth and decisive pull here in this match. And I'll call it right now, Ben. I think this goes five rounds. Okay. I think Jeff wins this. Oh, straight to the strap. Straight to an agreed strap. I love it. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. Hell yeah. So as they do that, Open up. We're almost pulled. listen in. You're right, in the You're right in the center, right there. Agreed upon okay, strap. Right Both competitors said, listen, let's just make it about power. Come on. Right there. I'm having a run because he's coming towards Well, though, you're going to run, you're going to get a foul. Right here, no yeah, I'm going right there. Yep. Good. Palm to palm. Yeah. Off his knuckle, off your knuckle, Jeff. Is it done? That's fine. Okay. Palm to palm. Yeah. I don't want it that quiet. Wow. Jeff's setup looks right good there. to me, Ben. I like Close Jeff in this round. All right. You I'm, called Sam I like the Jeff in this round. On that just side. Just with this setup I'm seeing here, Jeff Hale's hand is in a great Close position in that strap. And there was Mark a foul words. called on Harris Close there, so he's got one of those. Close your hand. Go. Oh, and Hale has what he wants. Hale has what he wants. Sam commits. Sam takes his hand. Wow. Unbelievable. Sam Harris. Sam Harris. There it is. Yeah. Wow. Let's see it. Finish it, Sam. Finish it. Yeah. And they call it Sam Harris. 3-1. Pretty fair. Pretty fair. There it is. There's your winner. No doubt about it. You look good coming back. Wow, let's look at the replay here, fans. Nice job, buddy, nice job. Interesting, interesting match there. Harris wins it and proves his pro record to 27 and seven, Max. Uh, and the cash in the left hand for Bart Wood. Let's look at this replay here. Sam Harris picks up the money after this deciding fourth round. Takes the hand. Jeff just can't put his power down. Sam rotates. Sam pronates. And then right there, he knows it. Right there. It's his, it's his match. It's over. Right in that spot. And then you see it right here. Boom! <laughs> there it is. Sam Harris is your winner. Another look. Different angle. Straight on. Fair start. Feel fair there. Nice I like start. that. That's that's a kind that of was a fair start. And kind Jeff of said it. Yep. You heard him. He said it was fair. Yeah, it was a good start. That that match, that that showed the round. That and showed the match. I love that. You see two men or two women, as we'll see coming up a little bit later. They go at it hard and they want to rip each other's arms off. And afterwards, celebration between the two. Sam Harris goes off with his money. Yeah. Let's now go beyond the pin with Devin Larrett. Hi, my name is Devin Larris from World Arm Wrestling League. I'm here today to talk to you about counter pulling. Arm wrestling is high speed training. The angles that people predominantly lock in are their wrist and their bicep together. So if I'm not strong enough in this package, I want to work through my wrist and my bicep. Oh, oh it's inside! Wow! Are you, are you kidding me? Devin just caught Jerry Catter in a press. 
if you're being overpowered, you give them something and try and take another angle. Maybe you don't see it, but he's making micro adjustments. Every every time Jerry takes a breath, Devin improves his position by an inch. It's the basic foundation to counter pulling. Don't ever try and pin the person prematurely. Just extend them and extend them and extend them. Pull them away from themselves and close towards you. You're always going to be more efficient. The more you can involve more muscle groups uh, and isolate muscle groups on your opponent, the more they're going to burn out quickly and you're going to be left with more gas. That's the art of counter pulling. And we welcome you back here to the Midtown District in Cleveland, Ohio, here at the famous and historic Agora Theater. Great to have you watching on BR Live. We know there's some problems with our sink. Our production folks are working very, very hard to get that all cleaned up and tweaked. And a great crowd on hand tonight. Those in the attendance in the crowd tonight, give yourselves a hand for coming out. Good turnout here in Cleveland, Ohio. And Quinlan Mendez is a young man from the state of Ohio. Let's take a closer look at him, Max Taubman. Hometown hero, you see in the bottom right of your screen, Paul Tabbitt, Joel Hudick in his corner. But we're looking back at the last match. Sam Harris, Jeff Hale. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. But this one should be fun. The last one was Mendez and Tony Katowski. Tony Katowski wasn't too long ago, a couple of years ago, had both hammers, the right and the left. And Tony is, uh, is a tough competitor. So too is Quinlan Mendez. Both these guys will bring it. Quinlan Mendez, he's established as an elite middleweight. Tony Katowski's dominating the lightweight region, but now he's coming up. He's coming up a weight class. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in this matchup. Edge to either guy? Who do you give it I mean, to? Yeah, it's a tough matchup. I don't know if either guy has the edge. Tony Gatowski, he's a pedigree, he's a champion, he's a winner. Quinlan, he's won a lot of big tournaments, a lot of, he, he's pulled a lot of top tier level events. So I think he, both guys are confident. I think it's either guy's game. We saw Quinlan, we saw Tony in Chicago, and he didn't, he didn't pull, but Quinlan did. And in chat to him earlier today, I said, how bad was the health then? He was dealing then with a bleeding ulcer. He lost a lot of blood. It was three weeks before that he was in the ICU. He said he feels the best he's felt in a long time. And we'll see how he fares here tonight in his second shot here in the Supermatch Showdown series. Let's now get to our public address announcer for the introductions, Justine Greenwald. is a best of five battle. He has a record of 15 wins and eight losses. He weighs in at 203 pounds. He stands at five foot nine inches and he competes out of Bryan, Ohio. He is Quinlan oh! Mendez. champions in the WAL, winning a championship with both arms. He is five foot eight, 203 pounds, from Junction City, Wisconsin, Tony Ironman Katowski. So Katowski comes out, it was 2016. As we touched on Max, he was then a lightweight, won the right and left hand, both hammers, said he wants to be the first guy with tight with both hammers and multiple classes as the money girl comes out lauren held to drop the cash here's our tail of the tape max tommen a tail of the tape is very even uh both these guys similar weight similar height similar pedigree uh really it's anybody's game who's going to be the better athlete is really going to come down to preparation in this match i think ben all right so we had Tony with us on our show. He was helping out in a consulting role with us. Now we get to see him pull. I haven't seen him pull since in person since that day in Vegas back in 2016. And he was as dominant as anybody that day in any class. And look at the focus on my boy Quinlan's face. 
He wants this. He's, he's ready to prove that he is the cream of the crop. He's been training, he's overcome, here we go. Bart Wood calls them to the table. Katowski on the left, Mendez, the home state product on the right. Best of five. Wow. I'm so hyped up for this match. Over a little bit quick. This is a very even matchup. Anybody's game. Square up. Here we go. Come down. Come down. Come around. Close your hands. Close your hands. Both covered up, offsetting. Go in the strap. Look at the focus. Okay, John. There's Long respect. No love movement, it. Right? There's a lot of really intensity. Yeah, there, there is. Those are a couple of things I love about this sport. Straight to the straps. Yep. The rule: 30 seconds. You can't get a grip in. Go to the, strap. to the straps. Yep. Because you know what they say about the straps, right, Ben? Remind me. The straps don't lie. They don't lie. That's they right. They don't lie. They don't lie. Who wins in the straps? Yeah, that's who the stronger. Man. I gotta get Tony's <laughs> webbing down some. Let's listen to Bart Wood. This round one is pivotal. Right there. Okay, square up. Square up. Close your thumbs. Come down on it. Come down on Close your hands. Go! Oh! Man! Kotowski! Wow! Iron! Wow! Pure that iron. is intense! Oh. Man. I love it. I love it. <laughs> wow. One nothing lead for Tony Katowski. We look back, Max. Katowski just took his hand straight up. Straight up took his hand from the setup. Quillen's not happy, but Katowski took position and just went straight to the pad. Wow. That is intense. It really is. 90 seconds between each pull. Each Quint man to their corners, uh, catch their breath, and have a little discussion. Quinlan's looking to make an adjustment here. He what do you think what, that is? Well, he felt what Tony had. He felt the angle. Okay. Now he's looking to adjust and, and stop or negate that pressure, that angle. Shut it down, bring it to his house, bring it to his side. Tony's confident, though. After a win like that, Tony's very confident. Indeed he is. I expect Quinlan to come fired up in this round. The Paul Talbot in this corner. The Ohio boys yeah, helping she, each other out as they should. Champion pedigree in your corner. Yep. That's got to fire you right up. Let's go. All right, I, I, I can't read lips, but I think Paul Talbot's saying, how bad do you want this? 15 seconds. Put it down again. Yeah, All right, so Katowski chalked up. Bart Wood gave him the 15 second warning. Now down under 10, we'll switch sides in our second poll. Tony Katowski with a one nothing lead here in the best of five. Poll number two coming up. This is pivotal, Ben. This round is gonna dictate the match. Tony wins, I think it's, he's in cruise control. Quinlan wins, anyone's game. This round is pivotal. Let's Here we see go. it. Here we go. I'll go Quinn's way a little bit. I can't. Come, come down, back. come down, Quinn. Close your hands, go. Strap. Straight to the strap. Strap don't lie. I'm not surprised. Both of these guys know what they're working with, and uh, they don't want to risk committing to the wrong the angle. The table. That's why they want to go Wind straight way. to the strap, because there it's about power. Quinn looking focused. He knows this round is everything. This round is pivotal. He has to make the right adjustment here, or else Tony's going to be in control. And make no mistake, man, this is a game of inches. One inch to Quinlan's advantage could be an easy pin. Could be less than an inch, right? I could mean, be less than an inch. Here we go. Minuscule. Bar with the call. Here it is. Quinn, I gotta get you this way. There you go. Close your thumbs. Stay right there. Square up. Close your hands. Go. Quinlan. Quinlan with the hit. Wow! Back comes Tatowski. Oh my goodness! Wow! Wow! 
Wow. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Talk about some strength, my goodness. Willen Mendez, his hand will be taken. Oh my word, there it is, Grinlin! Wow! Evens the score. This place is lit, here we go. Quinn Lynn, look at this crowd. He's got the home crowd advantage from Bryan, Ohio, about an hour west of Toledo. Couple hours away, but still in his home state, and they are all behind him, Max. Quinlan's fired up. He just, he found an angle. He found something, and then he just dig, dug in, and went for it. Look at this. Quinlan working it, working it. Then he found what he needed and it committed to a sideways move for the finish. Right here, watch this. He has it right there, right there. There it is. There it is. Well, One more look, look at man. it. Yeah, last look at it. From a as soon as he turned Tony's wrist down, as soon as he opened up Tony's wrist, and the hometown crowd loved it. Absolutely. Rooting for the Ohio native. I told you, Ben, that round was everything. Now it's anybody's, now it's a coin flip. Yeah, it is. Sam Harris in the corner of Tony Katowski. Harris won his match. 3-1. This is a great matchup. This, this is potentially match of the night, the way it's developing. Go up and over. Bleed him. Bleed him. Paul Talbot with the advice, bleed him. Wear him out. Huh. Yeah, here it is. Quinlan wants this. This might come down to who wants it more, and I know Quinlan wants this more than anything. Look at him. The crowd does yeah, the crowd's it. into this. I love this. I'm so happy I'm here. Great place to be tonight. The Agora here in Cleveland, 1-1, one, one, best of five. Quinlan Mendez there against Tony Katowski. This round is everything, man. Here we go. It's another slip. Yep, once again we go to the strap. Got one elbow foul on you before the slip. Got one foul over here. So the foul Straps. called there by Bart Wood. You heard on Quinlan Mendez, one foul. You got to get three to lose the pull. So he's fine in that department right now. Let me break it down to you like this, Ben. Break it down for me. They're going to get strapped up right here. The winner of this round is going to be in a huge advantage. The winner of this round is going to be in a huge advantage, both in a confidence sense and in a match sense. The winner of this round is in a pivotal position to win. This round is huge. Who wins it? I can't even call it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even call it. Well, I, I love it. Yes, I love it. Here we go. Call it, Bart. There it is! It's a war! Oh my goodness! Quinlan! Quinlan! Oh, Quinlan hits! Katowski holding. Yeah. Katowski holding. This is anyone's match, Ben. Wow. Indeed. This is exactly what everyone wanted to see a grunt horsepower war. Who wants it more? Harris in the corner of Katowski. Talbot in the corner of Quinlan. Video camera. Yeah! Takes him down, Max. Quinlan! Quinlan! Wow! Quinlan! Mendez! What you think? What you think? He asked the crowd, what you think? Those Ohio boys are working well together tonight. Quinlan Mendez is playing off the crowd. He loves this. He loves the spotlight. He loves the moment. Let's check this replay right here. Quinlan's big pin. It's even right there. It's even right there, Ben. But I'll tell you what happens here. Quinlan committed, stays with it, adjusts right there, right there, right there. He feels it. As soon as he gets that inch, right there, right there, he commits. As soon as he feels it, he knows he can finish, and he does it. Wow, Quinlan Mendez staging a comeback, the sorts I've maybe never seen. This is impressive. This after coming back from a serious 
health ailment that he had to deal with, that bleeding ulcer. He lost his brother a few weeks ago to an overdose. He had to deal with that tough time for his family and told us this morning was thrilled to be here. Tony Katowski They're filled with mentioned blood right his now. accolades. Let's listen in here a little bit if we can. Advice being given in the corner of both guys, but I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate on the advice. Please do. Quinlan's corner, finish this. Tony's corner, get back in and fight for a fifth round. That's, that's the simple analogy of what they're saying. Here we go, look at this. What a battle this has been. Our third of four matches tonight. Women's division comes next, and we've got two outstanding matches in rounds five and six tonight to follow. This is two of the best middleweights in the league. Two of the best. Right there. Here we go. Mendez trying to win it. Close your hands. Go. Stop. Slip. Yep. Quinlan saying it's over. Quinlan's <laughs> giving him the death choke. <laughs> He thinks he's got this. Set your elbow. Pay attention. Pay attention. Just go right into this round. Here we go, Ben. Pivotal round. Indeed. Either Quinlan's going to cement this as his victory, or Tony's going to stage a huge no. comeback and force Stay a right fifth. Here. Both are possible. Here we go, let's listen to Bar on the call. Right here, they're strapping him up, tightening him up. Listen for the ready go. Listen for it, it's gonna be quick. Close your square, bring that shoulder in more. Close your hands, go! Mendez trying to end it! He got it! He does it! Quinn, Lynn, Quinn, Lynn. That's right, baby! Wow! Milk in the crowd. Local hero. Fan favorite. Hometown hero. I don't care what you call him. The man is a winner. Quinlan Mendez takes it. He takes it three to one. Oh, and he flashes the money. Woo! Yeah. Nothing like yeah. that, is there? Yeah. Bring that home. Bring that home to your family, buddy. What a battle, Max, as we look back at the key moments from the final pull. Quinlan just committed. He was aggressive. He went for it. He felt it. And then as soon as he got in position, he didn't make no mistake. Finished it. Bam. Over. He's the winner. What a comeback. Everything this man's been through. Big respect. Big respect to Quinlan. Yeah, happy Father's Day weekend for Mendez. His dad's here with him, said he's supported him all the way through. He used to drive him and some of his friends to mini, in a minivan to events so they could compete when he got started in the sport. And a huge win for him here tonight in his home state of Ohio. We'll step aside and come back. We'll see Angie Rose and Tamara Mitt square off next. Still to come, Nick Zinno, also Matt Mask, Jerry Cataret, and the monster Michael Todd, still to come from Cleveland. And we're back here at the Agora Theater in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Let's take a look and revisit our rules of the game here in the WAL. The referee begins the match by centering the competitor's hands on the table. The hands must be level, close, and tightly set. If their grip slips, they will be placed in the strap. During the match, the arm wrestlers must keep their elbow on the pad at all times. To win the match, a competitor must touch his opponent's hand or wrist to the pad or break the plane of the pin line. Three fouls is a loss. So our rules of the game there, and there's Tamara Metz. We saw Tamara in the Chicago event. Visiting with her this morning, she said she feels much more focused mentally and physically than she did in that event. And there, you can talk to that. I mean, the, the mental part, the physical part, 
They're both difficult. You, is one more difficult than the other in this sport or not, or is it even? They tie in together, Ben. You got to be ready both mentally and physically. We're looking at her warming up here, and yeah, you got to have both connect together and feel 100% confident in the match. In your warm up, what is it typically you do when you're competing? A little bit of this, you know, I'll get on the table, I'll grip up with a guy, or I'll work the band, and I'll just get into my setup and put a little pressure on my arm and make sure that my confidence is there, that it's ready to hold up. All right, here's a look at some of Tamara Mitz's resume reel. That against Erica Bankston. Angie Rose will see her too. Both Canadian. Mitz is from the province of Ontario. Rose from the province of British Columbia, now calls Kamloops, BC, her home. And here's a look at Angie Rose. It's a great matchup. Uh, both girls with a lot of experience, and I'm ready to see where this goes and uh, how it ends up. Should be a fun one to watch, and both women. Good friends in the arm wrestling circles, and they won't be friends here for a few minutes when they're on the table, but afterwards they will. We're going to get now to our public address announcer, Justine Greenwald, for the introductions. This is the middleweight matchup, best of five in the WAL women's division. Introducing first, a consistent top finisher in the WAL with a record of 13 and six. She stands at five foot five, weighs in at 152 pounds, fighting out of Wasaga Beach, Ontario, Canada. The Crazy Canuck, Tamara Mitz. Here we go indeed, and Angie Rose comes out. And she took 16 years away from the sport to raise and train and race barrel horses. And there is Lauren Helton that comes out, slaps down the cash on the table again, Max, as we take a look at our tail of the tape. The cash is an extra incentive. Make no mistake, these girls want to prove they're stronger and better than each other. That comes first. Number one priority, prove you're superior. And they have a very even matchup. And this goes back, the rivalry between these two. They told me this morning, I talked to them together, and they said all the way back to 95 they first met in Calgary. So they've known each other a long time and competed many times. 95, I was six oh, years wow. old. I know nothing at that point. <laughs> all I know is I'm excited for this I'm matchup. I'm dating myself, I was 25. <laughs> but whatever, it is what it is. Tony Katowski in the corner of uh, Tamara. We got Joel Hudick in the corner of Angie. Sam's over there and too. Sam, yeah, and Sam, yeah, and Sam. Here we go. Well, Riser. Angie was, she asked me this morning, she said, where does Matt pull? And I said, he's after you Will because you he would be in that corner with her. No, yeah, and uh, here we go. We got Riser being set up for yep. a shorter competitor. Yep. They're coming up to the table. Mitz is five okay. foot five. Set your elbows down, square your shoulders. Rose a couple inches up. taller. Oh, and the crowd's hyped. The crowd loves it. They want to see this, a female brawl. Angie Rose, last year in the middleweight in the women's division in Vegas in the WAL, took first in the lift. Oh. They're bring both left, looking to commit left, a lot of shoulder and make this about power. Angie, back up a little bit for me, or bring this forward. Bart Wood other. backing him up. Angie, bring this forward. Bring that around. Up, close your thumbs. Well, 30 seconds going to the strap. There it is. Second time we've seen that tonight. Oh. Looks like, they wanted it. Yeah, yeah. Looks like they wanted it. Looks like they wanted this shot. Higher low. Higher low. Get together closer. And this is a nerve-wracking time. When they're strapping you up, tightening it up that first round, the nerves are going, you're anxious, you just want to grip and rip. This round, it, it really is going to dictate a lot of where this match goes, man. So best of five. Our 
fourth match of the night. Still to come, Nick Zinna, okay, Matt ladies. Mask. Yep, stay right here. Michael Todd and Jerry Cataract Close in our door. sixth and final match up. of the night. Okay, I gotta get in here today. I like Angie's position. Thumb. Angie looks primed for a top roll. Right here. here we go. Elbow down. Close your hands. One foul right here, one elbow foul. That one's on You're like Tamara right Mitz. Okay, hey, settle can in. Watch your back pressure, please? Angie's looking to roll forward. out. I can, I can see the right setup here, here Ben. Square Angie's up. looking to roll out with a top roll. Okay. Close your thumbs. One foul Close on Tamara Mitz. Close your hands. Go. Oh, and Angie with a top roll hit. Tamara stops her, but it's not enough. You called it. She did it. She did it quick fashion, Max. She was in a great position. I saw it. I knew the angle and how the setup was that she wanted to go there. She takes the big win. The big dub. Let's take a look back. Looking at the replay, Angie was in superior position. Top of the hand, better part of the strap, bam. Right into the fingers. So one nothing lead for Angie Rose here in the best of five. 90 seconds, of course, between poles. We'll switch sides, they'll go to their corners. Sam Harris helping Angie Rose out there, and Angie's trying to get the crowd fired up. Yeah. Good turnout here at the Agora Theater in Cleveland. The classic venue built way back in 1913, this building was. We're sitting on a stage, you and I, by the way, that the likes of Boston, Bruce Springsteen, among many, many others in music, have performed on. Pretty cool. I feel privileged to be here. So do and I. this is a exciting, epic night because we're bar breaking a lot of barriers right here. That's right. World Arm Wrestling League putting arm wrestling on a mainstream pedestal. You're right. What do you think the strategy is? Take us into each corner, Max. Uh, Tamara knows she has to make an adjustment. She's coming off a tough loss uh, to Erica. She needs to make an adjustment here. This round is going to be really everything. You're referring to Erica Bankston from yes. the 401 event in Chicago, okay, first event. So Angie Rose getting some chalk. She leads it 1 nothing in this best of five, and now. The two competitors shake hands, now they'll lock hands. Okay, Here we go. Bit. The crazy right there, Canuck, can she come up with something right, right here? Right in the middle. I like her setup. Close your hands. Look for Tamara with the hit. Oh, but Angie takes her hand. Oh, straps. I like the Angie there, Ben. She yep. looked in control, yep. she was in a better position. Let's look at this replay. Take a look. Angie comes over the top, grips the thumb, clamps down. Tamara keeps pulling and was able to get the slip that she wanted. And this is everything for Tamara. She's got the great side. She's got a great angle here to work off of. Okay, ladies. Do or die. Close your thumbs. One nothing lead for Angie Close Rose on the down. right. Go Tamara's way a little bit right there. Close your hands. Go! Wow! Wow! Tamara stopped her, but Angie finishes. Yep. One win away from winning the match. She leads it 2 nothing, Max. That was impressive. Tamara's managed to stop her a few inches short of the pin, but Angie kept with her angle. And look at this replay. Look at the replay here. Boom, Angie hit. She knew she was an inch away, kept her angle, kept the pressure, and was able to get the finish and the win. I feel so much stronger lower. Right here. Few inches, and then bam, she commits and finishes. Gets the big win. Takes a 2 nothing lead. Stand up and press her when they're doing it. Yeah. Not, don't worry about it. Exactly. No, I was thinking about it. She's got too much up on it. Too much up pressure. Is that what it is? Yeah. Or is it bad? No, it's up. It's up? Okay. 
eavesdropping on the corners. I love that. The beauty of television. Technical advice. <laughs> technical advice there, but let's be honest, man. Uh, it looks like ENG has more power. It so does. Tamir is going to have to make a lot of adjustments here to be hang in this match. Yes. Let's see it. To this point, it certainly does. Look at the crowd down around the pit here at the Agora Theater. Here in Cleveland, Ohio. Dozen seconds until Bart Wood will dangerous. demand him to the table. 90 seconds between each pull. And that time has now expired. Round three. Tamara's down 2-0. She's going to have to come with a big, big round. Close your thumbs. Bart Wood with the call. Close your hands. Go! We'll need that red Good strap match. one more time here, Max. That was a very even slip. I think I think Tamara's finding her angle. I think Tamara's finding her strategy. But is it going to be too late? That's really the question here because Angie's up two rounds to zero. One more round and it's over, Ben. Right. How's that? Hopefully. This is one of the more peaceful the, ones we've eavesdropped on tonight. <laughs> where they've been applying the strap. It started peaceful, but I'll tell <laughs> you what. I think about, yeah, there, I think some to fireworks about to start. I'm thinking back to the first, the first match here. we had tonight. Well, I think some what fireworks are going to start in this round, Ben. All right. Here we go. Girls, ladies, I'm sorry. Get your hands palm to palm and tight together. And I'll keep it right there. And let me get it nice and tight. And as a competitor, you want that thing, you want it the way you want it, right? And that's a hard thing to deal with when they're putting it where they coming. want it, right? A small adjustment in that strap, Ben, can make a world of difference. I'll yeah. tell you that. Here, here we, go. we go, though. Close your thumb. Right here. Close your hand. Go! Round three, and they're off! Oh! Angie Rose with the Let's win. Go, Good job. Impressive, Ben. Well done, I'll say this. Well, let me hand you this, Angie. Angie Rose I is a nurse. Ladies. Who needs a doctor when you got a nurse? Let me hold this. About one. that win. Oh. She's got some cash, too. Bringing the cash home. Yes. Yeah. Feeling good there. Let's look at this replay, Ben. Dom dominating fashion that yes. Angie won in. Boom, hits to the side, straight to the side. She knows her angle, she knows her strategy. Takes the hand, pronates through for the win. Well done by her and gets the victory and walks off to our right at the other end of the stage. And still to come, we've got two excellent matches coming up. Coming up next, it'll be Nick Zinna and Matt Mask. We saw Matt at WAL 402 in Baltimore. We'll also have Jerry Cataret taking on the monster. Michael Todd still to come from Cleveland. And we welcome you back to Cleveland, Ohio, the beautiful Agora Theater here in the Midtown District of Cleveland. Four matches complete, two to come. Should be two great ones. We've had some great ones so far tonight. We're going to take a look back at the first four of the night. The first match, Paul Talbot ended up taking that one against Bill Sinks by a count of 3 nothing. A lot of fouls. Both men were very touchy on that strap and how it was applied. They finally got that done. And then Sam Harris takes on Jeff Hale. Harris won that match. Max 3-1. to one. Harris, impressive. That could have been anybody's match after the first two rounds, and Harris just took over and finished in an exciting fashion. Look at that. That's beautiful. Both men just giving it all they got, leaving it on the table. Then in our third match of the night, it was Quinlan Mendez, the home state boy against two-time hammer champ for 2016, Tony Katowski. Looked good for Tony early. Yeah, Tony took control in round one, took the hand, finished it. Quinlan found an angle. Quinlan found an angle, wore out Tony's hand, then brought it inside for pure power. 
And then in our last match, Tamara Metz on the left, Angie Rose, clean sweep, took it 3 nothing. She took it 3 nothing, but it was not easy, Ben. Tamara brought a fight. Tamara brought a lot of, uh, you know, uh, energy and effort, but Angie just took the win with a spirit performance. All right. I know you've been anxious about this whole night, and we have all been anxious to see Matt Mask. He's always entertaining, and Nick Zinna, just a beast of a man. Nick Zinna, I'm a huge fan of his. I mean, he's such a great guy. Like. I almost don't want to say too much about him because he's just such a nice guy. One of the nicest guys you ever meet. Oh, you just don't want to get on his wrong side because he's bigger than you, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's, an he's an impressive specimen. Very good. So now, let's take a look at Matt Mask. And many of those that follow the WAL may have seen the picture he put after the last event with his pack. He said everything's fine. I mean, it was purple, it was yellow. He is a wild man in every sense, and I mean that in a kind way when he's on the table. Matt Mask, he loves an intense match. He loves to get fired up, especially after a big win. Nick Zinna, he's more reserved, but make no mistake, if Nick starts to get control, you, you're going to get see him get fired up just as much. Yeah, the first time they've ever gone on the table in a competitive match. We'll get to that and talk more about it. But first, want to remind you, tonight's stream is being brought to you by BR Live, launching on a number of connected devices this summer, including Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV. Now, to introduce these two men, we just talked about our public address announcer, Justine Greenwald. This is a best of five featured match between two of the best heavyweights in the WAL. Approaching the pit, standing at six foot four and weighing in at a whopping 305 pounds, fighting out of Polo, Missouri, Nick Zinna. Come on, this yeah, side, this side of the table, this side. Yeah, just go wait, wait to hear and we'll call you out. And his opponent, one of the most exciting arm wrestling competitors in the world. He won the Fresh song. off of a huge win last month at the WAL 402 in Baltimore. With a record 30 wins, 11 losses, at six foot five. 247 pounds from Red Deer, Alberta, Canada, Matt Wild Horse Matt. Yes, turn up your headsets, turn up your computers, turn up whatever you're watching in TV. Doesn't matter. Here we go. This you want intensity? Time. You want a matchup, Ben? Here we go. Money's on the line. From Lauren Helton, our money girl tonight. She'll leave the hundos on the table with a wave and a smile, and off she goes. And now a tail of the tape breakdown is we get a peek at that, Max. Here's the tail of the tape. Matt Mass, the lighter guy. He's used to competing 225. You know, you see him with a significant weight disadvantage. But make no mistake, Matt Mask is built to face anybody because he is 6'5". He has the leverage. He has the hand strength. He can compete with anybody in the world. All right, so I mentioned Facebook earlier in the picture that Matt Mass posted on there. So. We were curious, so the folks at the WAL offices said, all right, let's throw it out there. Who do you think wins? There's the results there. What do, you, do you agree with that? Well, the fan poll took Matt Mask because he's coming off a big win. Nick Zinna coming off a loss, but make no mistake, this is anybody's match. And it's been fun to watch all the most of the competitors that get engaged on Facebook throughout this Super Match Showdown series. A lot of trash talk, a lot of fun being had on there between the competitors. But now, Max, as you know, Oh, it's yeah. It's all business now, Take baby. it down to Bart Wood. Set it off. That's right. Here we go. The crowd loves it, and I love it even more. You gotta go next way, just a little right there. Come down a little bit, Matt. Down a little bit more. Very good. Close your thumb. Stay right here. Close your hands. Oh, no, no. Fucking go oh. no, no. Matt wants it right there. He's saying, let it go. He's saying, he's yeah. saying, let's go. Yeah. Close your hands. Go. Wow. That was over the no. blink. Nick, Nick didn't think that was a pin. Nick didn't What'd think that was think? a pin. Uh, it was close. Uh, Matt might have had it. Matt might have touched it. But Nick thinks it might have been an early start. Oh, man. I don't think he was all the way ready. I don't think he was ready, Ben. 
Let's look. Here's Let's a video replay. Evidence. I just didn't see Nick commit. Look at this. Bam. Matt's off before Nick can even get any power in there. Hats off to Matt Mask with the early hit. Fantastic timing. Hats <laughs> off to Matt. He is fun to watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love his intensity. This is a guy that's very, very quiet and, you know, just like into himself before yeah. a match. Yep. Man, when they say ready, go, he's an animal. He is a wild horse, Look hence his nickname. He he told us this morning, he said, look, I have no history against Nick Zinn. He goes, I don't know what to expect. It's the first true super heavyweight, and I want to show everybody what I can do against the super heavyweight. And here we go. Nick, he's not going to take this lane down. No. Come on, big. Come on, big Zinn. Get in this match. One nothing, Matt Mask on the right. Close your hands, go. Oh. Nick's hand looked very strong there. It did not even budge. It did not even move. Matt might be in trouble here. If Nick gets a setup, okay. Matt might be in trouble. Mark my words. Nick looked impressive. I think he's found the angle. Look at this replay. Nick's hand did not budge, Ben. Yeah. It did not even move nope. from the center of the table. Nope. Uh, I'm giving an advantage to Nick right now. And just in this round, in this setup, from what I'm seeing. Okay. Best of five. Matt Mass took the first one in a, about a second. Nick's, Nick, he needs this. He needs this round. This way a little bit. Here we go. More. Tighten the strap. I will. Tighten it up. He's saying tighten it up. Next way, next way, next way, next way, next way, right there. I like Nick. I like Nick here. Right. I like Nick at this right, setup. Here we go. Bam! One foul. Foul on Matt Mask. Wow. <laughs> Bart Wood says, I don't want to hear it. That's a foul. Here we go. Right there. Tighten up a little bit. He's got a gap. Right there. Close your thumbs. Close your hands. Go! Nick! Nick Zinna! Wow! Wow! I told you! He, he is ready! He came ready! Yeah! Now it's a fight! Now it's a war! Let's go! He's fired up! Players replay! Bam! Nick takes his hand and just finishes it within a second. Look at that. Boom! Counter hit. Yeah! That, that's what I would call a vulgar display of power. Yeah. <laughs> that is impressive. Wow. Matt couldn't do anything with his hand there. Nick just manhandled him. Nick just bullied him. Nick said, I'm the bigger, stronger man. And Nick coming from afar. This guy's used yeah. to lifting heavy, large objects. <laughs> Talked to him and most of the competitors this morning about their fathers and his dad's still 70 years old, still going strong. He's still out there working with him, bailing hay, all kinds of hard work in the and farm. And a huge influence. Yeah. A, oh, huge, yeah. a huge uh, yep. just, you know, motivator for him. Yep. You know, everybody looks up to their dad, I feel like, in a sense. Sure. And Nick is a great example of that. Yep. And he wants to show up right now for his dad, make him proud. This round, Ben, I've said it before, pivotal. It's key this one. round, right now, who wants this more? Yep. Who wants it more? comes down to. Mask had success yeah. a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, turn it up. Turn up your TVs. Turn up your streaming devices. Go go his way, Matt, a little bit. Here we go. A little bit more. Right there. Close your thumbs. That center? Now you gotta go his way a little bit. Zinner right versus Mask! Perfect. Right there. Close your hands. Go! Ooh. Yep. Yeah. The third pull will result in the strap Ooh, being applied one. once again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the concentration in Zinner's face. I love, I love it. I love the passion, the determination, the focus. Needs Fuck. Everything needs that goes in for these competitors. You know, Nick's a gentle go. giant. He's very nice. He's one of the nicest guys I ever met. But man, you can tell when he grips and he goes, 
That ain't gentle. There's nothing gentle about that. He's looking to smash and destroy. Yep. Okay. Here we go. The crowd is getting lit. They're into it. 1-1 one, one here in this best of five. Tighten it for tight. I will tighten it. Seems like everyone's happy uh -oh. so That's far. That's a foul. That's a foul. That's a foul. We got one foul moving in the strap. Until that. Gotta go his way. One man. foul on Nick Zinnup. A little bit more, a little bit more. Right there. Close your thumbs. Over here, a little bit Mask more. Mask has a good more. setup. I like Mask's setup. Over, over. Can Nick Close overpower him? Go! That was a dangerous round. That one hurt him. Mask might have hit a bad angle in Nick's in his arm. Yep. Uh oh. He'll need some too. And that hand, those fingers of Mask. I saw a Mask in position, Ben. I yeah. saw a Mask with. Yeah. He might hurt his shoulder. Uh oh. I think he hurt his shoulder and Mask dislocated his finger or fingers. Ooh. See him trying to get it out of there? That happened to him a couple of years yeah, ago. He might have felt a pop. Yeah, when in Vegas. When you feel a pop in your arm, Ben, it's over. Yeah. Your arm will inflame. You'll lose, you'll just lose feeling in it, and it, it just, you can't even keep pulling. You see Nick there immediately reaching for it, now wow. trying to stretch in between, now down to this is, this 40 is, seconds until the next pull. This is dangerous. I mean, you see him icing his arm to prevent the blood flow, to God prevent him it. from getting too pumped up to where he can't grip. Yeah. So Matt Mask is just trying to ice his hand and keep it, keep the blood out of it. Zinnett. Yeah, Zinn is just getting to work on her shoulder, his forearm, just trying to loosen up and not, hopefully not let an injury or anything play into this match. I heard it. Matt Mask is I love asking that. it. The respect. I love, it. I love that. It's he said, is your shoulder good? Yeah. Zinn has said, let's go. I think a lot of people good enough. that look at the, that are on the outside, may not understand the respect these competitors have. It is like no other sport I, I, I've never seen. I mean, Mass straight up asked him, how's yep. your shoulder? Yep. Is it good? Is it a said, I guess, or su su something like, I don't, you know, I'm gonna keep going. Well. So that's a short answer. Yes. It doesn't matter. Okay. He's gonna keep going. That's what matters. They're at the table. No, it's all right. <laughs> they are gonna keep going. Tremendous heart. I got huge respect for Nick Sinner right Me now. Me too. I got huge respect for Nick Sinner. Turn up. Yeah. Let's go right here. Yeah. Trying to win it. He came out. His fingers are wow. Nick's a notices. mess. He's feeling it. Yeah. He's noticeably hurt. Both guys are. Tremendous, tremendous go, heart. Gentlemen. Look at Nick Zinna. His arm is inflamed. His arm's hurting. But he can pop, pop, pop. He's just gonna keep fighting. Look at this replay. I'll try not to touch it during the setup. Please don't. Yep. He's popped that hand, this finger again. Immediately grabbing his arm after the match. He's feeling it. His shoulders hurt. Hey, hey, so I don't have but to right around. now, it's about that? heart. Get right to the center of the table. Come over. It's about heart. Stay right here. What a battle this is. Now go this way. This is getting it. It really yeah, is. Everybody move this way. Matt Mask. He wants this so bad. He wants to prove everybody Still wrong that doubted him. He wants to show he everybody he belongs to the super heavyweight class. Meanwhile, Nick Zinna coming off an injury, coming off a brutal match. He doesn't. Yep. He, he ain't gonna give up. There's no giving this man. No way. Round four. Both competitors doing it hurt. Mask the hands into the. I'm like totally loose around my. Something in the right arm, bicep, elbow, whatever it may be, but it's something in that right side. I think I think it's outside shoulder. shoulder. I think he's feeling his outside shoulder, but it doesn't matter right now, round four. Right. Come on, come on, Nick. Get back in it. It's not tight at all. Nick, this is a five round war. This way, I don't want to jerk it. Come on, move over towards Nick. More. Nick, let him move over. I am. I'm not right there. Close your thumbs. Close your hands. Go. Oh. Fire! My fucking strap was just so 
Mask takes him down, wins it three to one. Matt Mask again making a statement. Two warriors letting the results do the talking. Matt Mask, he belongs in the super heavyweights. He, he just proved it. Impressive, very impressive. Bart Wood, that'll help the hand feel a little bit better. Yeah, forget the ice, forget oh, yeah. the ice. Just put the dollar bills on your arm. That'll help with the swelling. Look at this he replay. is entertaining and he is tough. Both these men left everything on the table, Max. I mean, Matt hit one, but immediately grabbed his finger. It looked like it, it might have popped out of place. It did. It. it did. And he's had problems with his finger yeah. before popping out. Yeah. Well, Dislocating. It, it popped out earlier in the match, and it definitely popped out here again. Wow. Easy win, but it came at a price. It came at a sacrifice. Yep. Big respect to Matt Mass for pulling out that victory. Both men getting the job done. Sam Harris in the crowd. He was in the corner helping out. And We've got one more match coming up. Our main event, the monster Michael Todd will square off with Jerry Cataret in our sixth and final match of the night in our Super Match Showdown Series 403 here in Cleveland. Back here at the Agora Theater in the Midtown District of Cleveland, Ohio with Max Taubin. All of our crew, my name is Ben Holden. The main event time, Max, you got the monster Michael Todd. Told me this morning he weighed in at 277 and a half against the big daddy, Jerry Cataret, 6'1 and 334 is Jerry. And there's a look at Mr. Cataret. What a main event this is. These guys have pulled before their rivals. Uh, Jerry with the early wins, Michael Todd with the latest wins in the past few years, but man, this could be a barn burner. This could be a this could be a five minute match every round. This is how intense these guys are. And then on the other side, the monster Michael Todd, who we've seen before in this 2018 version of the Supermatch Showdown series, and no problems for him in that. Uh, monster, I respect him a lot. He's one of those guys that he aims to be the best of the best. He won't take and he won't accept anything less. All right, let's get to our public address announcer. Final introductions, our main event, Justine Greenwald. It's all yours. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. And it's a best of five heavyweight battle of the Titans. First to the table, known for his incredible power with a record of 22 and five. He's six foot one and weighs in at 330 pounds. Fighting out of Rehoboth Mass, Jerry Big Daddy Cataract. His opponent, widely known as one of the best arm wrestlers on the planet. Out of Hot Springs, Arkansas, six foot three, 277 pounds, the current WAL Super Heavyweight Champion, Monster Michael Todd. No! That is a big, big man there, so. You saw his job title, Body I'll Transformation. You guys and I'll call you out. Specialist is what he does. Helps people out. eat healthy, exercise, and get their bodies in shape. There's our money girl tonight, Lauren Helton, with cash going down to the middle, Max. Here it is, the main event. I love it. The best of the best, the super heavyweights, the monster, Michael Todd, Jerry, Big Daddy Cataret. Let's see who's the baddest dude in the building. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I mean, straight up. Both these guys over six foot. Both these guys over 275. Let's see who's the baddest man in the building. Jerry's still got the tunes going, and Facebook, the poll, it reads this way. Do you 
have any extra thoughts on that? I mean, Michael Toss, a favorite. Yeah, he's been winning. He's coming off a big win. Jerry coming off a loss to Devin Larat. But yeah. I don't think that poll means anything to either guy because they're focused, they're Blue confident. Water. Water. They are. Okay, Canaret, his focus. I'm going to have to ask him what he listens to when he's out there waiting around. I'm a big music guy. And now the music's gone. Now it's just Bart Wood in the crowd. Let's listen to Bart. Here to we table. go. Main right, event. Best of Elbows five. down, straight wrist, got to see a thumb knuckle. Center of the table. Right there. Close your thumbs. Right, right here. Yep, right there. I'm not trying. Yep, close your hands. Oh, he's on my knuckle. He's on my knuckle. He's on my knuckle, Rev. I can see knuckle. I can see it. Can we open it back up? You're pulling, my, you're pulling my fingers off. You're pulling my fingers off. Can we open it back up? No. Turn Strap. Come on, Jerry. Bart's not messing around. Yeah, you're pulling my feet straight to the strap. And I love this rule. 30 seconds. If they can't get a grip back, yeah, you straight to yeah, the strap. Yeah. Let's see it. Ah. Hey, same thing. Just make sure we see thumb knuckle. It's a clean start. I'll put my leg up after you get it. I understand. That's okay. fine. That's fine. High or low, Michael? Uh, right there. Sir. Okay. High or low? Uh, go low. First time these two men competed right, against one another was 95. No, go ahead. These guys have been rivals. No, these guys have been rivals. Make no mistake about it. These guys have been rivals and they want this. And look at this crowd. Listen to this crowd. Canaret won the first two meetings, then in Denver in 07. The Monsters won the last two. He said, he hasn't beat me in a decade. Okay. Stop, stop. That's a big gap. Here it is. Right? Yeah. This round's going to really, this I just don't really want to spell out the match right here. Round one. Is it going to be the Monster with the hand control? Or is it going to be Jerry with the power? Here it is. Come on. In the center. Close your hands. Close your hands? Yes. Go! Bam! Oh, yeah. Jerry with the press! Wow! Jerry Cataret just pressed Michael Todd straight to the pad and made it look easy. It made it look easy. Wow! My goodness. One nothing lead for Cataret. We look back at it, Max. Straight to the pad. Jerry was behind his arm with superior position. Michael Todd will adjust. Make no mistake, Michael Todd will adjust. Big, big start for Cataret. Cataret's fired up, but Absolutely. Michael Todd's counter moves are top of the game. Elite level countering. A little bit more of our tail of the tape. Take us through this and give us your yeah, thoughts on this, Max. Time. And look at that, the counter. Know, Michael Todd, 8.6. He will make an adjustment. He will find another angle. He will use his hand control and his power and his endurance to get Jerry out of his game and out of his press, which is Jerry's strength. Last time they met was in Los Angeles in 2014. Jerry Cataract told me this morning, this morning, he said, it was about a three minute match, Ben. So. It was a very long match. Jerry, Jerry lost it. Yes. But right now, Jerry looks like he's ready. To, all right. And, and he's the guy that went four weeks ago Michael Todd has, hasn't gone in this in eight weeks. Here we go. That's all out the window. Ben. Now it is. Yep. Right now, nothing Close else matters except these rounds. Here we go. Bart. Close your hands. I, I got to see Knuckle, Jerry. Okay. Close your hands. Go. That's only a foul anyway, but it wasn't, it's only attentional. Right, I got, I got that. Sorry, sorry. It's all good. <laughs> so good replay of that slip, man. Yep. Yeah. I saw that. I saw yeah. that coming. No. Okay. Michael no. Todd and Jerry have the most contrasting opposite styles of power. Jerry deep inside. Todd out no, outside. It where you hand want. control and rolling out. Complete opposite. Angle. Both of you. Completely opposite. Are you there? Okay. Now I'm gonna go like this. I will favor Michael Todd in this round. They're both like it tight. So I will favor good. Michael Todd. I believe he'll even this Is up. Is your knuckle there, Michael? Right, I'll be okay. very surprised if he doesn't. Okay. Okay, let's not move at all, guys. That way I can get this thing tight. I just don't want a gap between our hands. He, don't, want he don't either. All right, I think we like the same style. Still is. 
that strap as tight as it can go. Yeah. Give me a little time. You just fast forward again. Okay, gentlemen. Wow. The crowd's behind it. Cataret puts okay. that Close foot up into the table. This is about to get intense, Ben. Yes, it is. Close your hands. Oh. Michael Todd. Oh. Early oh. hit. Yep. All star, but Todd got what he wanted. Yes. Todd felt what he wanted. Yep. Oh, yes, sir. He wants yes, to get sir. back to that same Set, spot, man. Watch this. He wants to get right back to that same spot. <sighs> can I tighten it once? No. If he can stop Jerry's, Jerry's tight, press, tight, tight, tight. it's Michael Todd's game. Endurance favors Todd. Endurance favors Todd all day. Watch this round. One nothing lead for Jerry Cantoran on the right. Close your thumbs. Strap applied. Here we go. Close your hands. Go. Wow. Michael Todd. He just stopped Jerry's press. Watch your elbow, Jerry. Very close. Jerry trying to finish. He's inches. He's inches. He can't do it. Michael's got it where he wants him. Monster Michael Todd. He's working him. Look at the monster. He's working out on his hand. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Jerry's fingers. He's trying to fill yeah. him with blood. Yep. And as soon as Todd can fill them up with blood, he'll bend them back. Wow. That is a crazy angle, Ben. Huh. Don't try this at home. No. Hey, don't try this That's at home. That's a great angle of it right there. Look at that. talking about, Max. Yeah. What? what a war. What a what war. Absolute war. This is exactly what we wanted for the main event. Yes. So yeah. Right there for Cataret. Jerry Cataret. He's putting everything he has into it. Watch your elbow, Jerry. It's earned. But he can't finish. No. But he can't finish Michael he can't. Todd. Not like that. Monster Michael Todd with the counter. Monster Michael Todd with the counter. Monster Michael Todd walking his hand up. You seen him walking. You seen him adjusting. Yeah. Yep. Yep. There it is. Monsters coming back. Look at the monster coming back. Looking to get behind his arm. Looking to get behind his arm and press. Watch this move right here. Yep. Watch this move right here from Monster Michael Todd. Sweat pouring off. He's got the foul. There's Jerry with a running foul. Yes. He has to win to get a restart. Yes. Monster Michael Todd looking to transition. Looking to rotate and press. Rotate and press. Jerry putting everything he has into this. Everything. It hurts so bad. Wow. Unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Are you seeing this, man? Cataract trying to put him down. Goodness, Jerry is inches. Michael Todd will now allow his arm to be pinned. This is unbelievable. Are you seeing this? Three minutes so far into this pull, Max. This is it. This is it. This round is the match. Whoever wins this round wins the match. Whoever wins this round wins the match. Jerry poured sweat. Oh, no, he's drenched. His elbow, his elbow. Jerry called for the elbow. Michael Todd adjusts in position. Cataract does have the running foul against him. Something's wrong. Wow. This is one of the longest matches in WL history. This is one of the longest matches no I've ever doubt. seen. No doubt. Are you kidding me? Four this match is now. Who is going to win this? 
four minutes. Some best of five don't last four minutes. The last time they pulled, the entire match lasted three minutes in LA four years ago. Yes, yes. This is exactly what the fans wanted to see. A bloodbath, a bloodbath. Cataret is literally pouring sweat. Four and a half minutes and counting in this pull alone. Unbelievable! Who Can wants Cataret this more? Take him down. Who wants this more? Wow. Cloud into it. Cataret tried to get it. Jerry thinks he had a pin. He did. He thought he did. Jerry's pouring sweat like a faucet, babe. He is. My goodness. Five minutes and counting now in this pull. You want to see intense high-level arm wrestling? You're watching it in the World Arm Wrestling League. This is it. Who wants it more? You can be sure when they, whoever wins this one, that full 90 will be used. Who wants it more? Let's see it. Time to prove it, man. Time to prove Five it right now. And a half minutes, Five minute Max. round. Time to prove it right now. What do I have? Two level five. Two? Yes. Unbelievable. Yeah. Come on. This one of the longest matches I've ever seen in my life. Wow. This one of the longest rounds I've ever seen. Yeah. My goodness. It Unbelievable. Shoulder contact. Six huh? minutes and counting. Cataract <laughs> so close. Can he take him down? <laughs> I, I mean, can't these guys. Are, what I'm seeing. Yeah, these guys are. This is one of the best epic. matches I've ever witnessed in my life. <laughs> This is epic! This is history! This is one of the longest rounds of all time. Now, now over six and a half yeah. minutes, and there it is! Jerry oh, Cataract! Get the fucking strap up! I get the strap up! Yeah, wow. he wants that strap off now, and Jerry Cataract. Running foul. It does not count. Yeah. Running foul on Jenny Cataract. Yeah. It does not count. Yeah. Restart. It does not count. So close to seven minutes. All for naught. This is, you couldn't have written this if you wrote a script. This is a movie like moment. You're talking, these guys just had a seven minute round in seven minutes. No one even won the round, Ben. There's no definitive crazy. winner. This is crazy. Are you kidding me? I'm giving them. I'm just giving them a. I'm okay. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. No, Let's no. go. Go! Damn it! Yes, Let's go. Wow. It's still one match. So it's still a one nothing lead for Jerry Cataract because of the running fouls. I, I, I honestly, I can't call this match right now. <laughs> I cannot, I wouldn't even bet on either guy. It's not, bro. I know, buddy, I know, I know. Okay, I don't want to be the guy. I mean, how do you, I know you've never been in a match that long, or have you? No, I mean, no, how, how, do you, how do you even fathom trying to come back from that and do it again? I mean, no, no, it's what, what right I'm now, doing. it's past strength. It's no, no, no. You're in a different hand. level. Oh, yeah, I'm doing that for boys. Absolutely epic to this point. We're not done. Cataract's got a one nothing lead the best of five. Be smart. Hey, hey, before I do anything, I gotta just palm to palm. Hey. <laughs> I know. And these guys have barely had any rest. No. About a minute. We need a rag. 90 I mean, seconds. Yeah, I mean they had a, they have 90 seconds right between pulls. Sorry, but I got it. Ben, when, when all that blood's your arm, oh. 90 seconds is not enough. No, I, good. I'm well, sure. These guys are hurt. I can't have no movement. Set your elbows down. My fucking arm ain't moving. I know. Your hands are coming apart. 
This is epic. So, six minutes and 38 seconds in that second poll that nobody won. So we're technically still in the second poll. I know. You guys are awesome. Both guys That's laid, amazing. laid a Just lot out of that round. Can you do oh, this? Hey, like minutes, keep this palm to palm so I get a nice tight strap. If I get a loose strap, you're going to be so far underneath that nothing's going to happen. We're sitting here all night. You were sitting here all night. <laughs> okay, palm to palm. Push palm Both to palm. men, though, will take this because they both need the rest. They both know this might be a long night. Even. Yeah. Even. even. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Jerry Cataret, one nothing Down lead. Bit, Michael, I don't want to push on your hand. Okay, just go like this. Jerry, come up. What do you want me to do? Just I want up. you up so I'm even. There. Right there? Yes, sir. My foot's not up, sir. Two fouls on Cataret, one on Todd here in the second pull in the best of five. Okay, square up. Here we go, Max. Oh, yeah. Square up, Jerry. All the marbles. Oh, everything right here. Okay. Just watch your arm, I mean. Okay, close your thumbs. He's leaning me that way bad, right? Right not, Oh my God. God. Right here, close your thumbs. Get this side pressure off. Close your hands. <laughs> oh yeah! One foul. Yeah. One so foul. that's All star. <laughs> each Go. man with two fouls Back now. Up. Wow. So you got two fouls on one hand? Two to one. Two okay. and two. two. <laughs> wow, this round okay. right here, Where right up? now. Close your thumbs. Stand corrected, two to one, the fouls. Mike goes away a little bit. Close your hands, go. Cataret with a jump again. Are we in for six and a half more minutes? Cataret, an inch from the path. But that is the hardest inch he'll ever have to move in his life. Right. Michael Todd, endurance freak. He's got one of the best endurance in the world. Oh, yeah. Can Jerry muscle through him? He this is, is power versus everything technique. he's got. You're right, Max. Yeah! Oh. They gave it to Wow, Kelly. that's controversial. Wow. That's controversial. 2 nothing. it stands <laughs> now. I, Why is that, Max? I got to speak up because I, I, I don't know if he went under. Yeah, something wrong. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he went under on the pin. All right, well, we're going to get many opportunities to look back at it. That was very close. But right now, Cataret. Let's look at the replay. With a stranglehold on this. 2 nothing. he leads it. I need another angle. We'll get more. Here we go. Watch that. Did you see a dip under, though? I need to see it again. Exactly. That's my I point. really do. I, I need That's to see that point. again, too. I did not see a definitive. I did not see Michael Todd's wrist definitively go under. I did not. Well, they have 90 seconds between. Jerry Cataract leading 2 nothing. Let's go back and take another look from it's a close. different angle. This might it's tell you here. Close. It's very, very close. It could be called right here. Watch this right now. Watch this. Boom. Was that a pin? That's very, Whoa. very controversial. That is tough to call. I mean, even with the replay cameras, we don't know. Even with the replay, we're not sure. Well, to my knowledge, unlike basically every other sport that's played, there's no instant replay in, in the WAL. Once the ref makes a call, <laughs> right, it's that's the what call. it is. But I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, Ben. I think. Jerry's still not out of the deep water. I think Michael Todd is still in a position where he could burn him and he could come back. Let me tell you something. Time, gentlemen. Sorry. Listen, I'm going to do everything I can. All right? I love you, all right? I'm not fucking quitting. Michael Todd just said, wow. I'm not quitting. This man has never quit in a match in his life. No. I will guarantee he doesn't quit. They switch sides. Todd has to win, or Cataret wins this main event. Cataret is one round away. Cataret is one round away. But that's going to be the hardest round he ever had to earn in his life. Make no mistake, Michael Todd is not out of this match. Because the water, can I put a little chalk on here? Just to the chalk. 
Oh, hey. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Just so it's so no one's saying that uh, there's water on there and stuff. Yeah. This is a very awesome tense job, Doman. What a match this has been. Can Cataret end it? I'm going to try to be as delicate with that hand as I can. Or can Todd okay. with that. You into the table where you want to be? Hand that's obviously in serious pain. Come back. Close Todd needs to hit. Stay Todd right needs here. to hit here. Let's get you turn around this way. He needs like to be aggressive. Close your hands. Go. No strap yet. Bartwood with a great look. Panarat trying to end it. And there's the slip, and we'll go to the strap. Slip, slip, yep. Straps. I tried that a I was watching his fingertips. I know. Okay. I know. Oof. Okay, gentlemen, let's get this on as easy as possible here. Up. Get you even, Michael. Come up a little bit. There you go. Right here. Uh huh. Right on that line. Bone thinks, the doctor thinks that bone right there broke. Wow. Well, you heard it from Michael Todd right there. I don't want to quit. Talking about a possible injury. He's right. talking about injury. Hand in the but you just, you just heard the bone in the hand. He won't quit. No. He won't quit. Even I if he has suffered an injury. That long match. He won't quit. Oh, I just couldn't transition because yeah. the pain was stupid. He's so talking about a lot of pain. He's yeah. talking oh, about yeah. feeling pain in his arm. Tight? Big respect to Michael Todd for Is that tight, gentlemen? No question. He's continuing. Okay. Cataract with that foot up, his trademark. Close your thumb. Jerry setting up for the press. He got him that way in the top roll. Go. So close. Jerry Cataract, can he take him down? Todd hanging on. Amazing. Wow. Amazing position. It's the best battle I've ever Big seen. Big respect to Michael Todd. Hanging in there, finding an angle, yeah. finding a way. Watch your elbow, watch your elbow. Bart Wood telling Jerry Cataret to watch the elbow there on the pad. Watch his shoulder rise up. Uh oh, Michael Todd's, he's working his way back in the match. Michael Todd, the monster. Monster looks in a great position. He needs to get behind his arm and press. Foul on Cataret for the elbow. Michael Todd's right in his thumb. Yep. Michael Todd's right higher and higher in his thumb. Look at his position. I see. Now his Wait hands, up. better leverage. I think Michael Todd's gonna win this round. Look at his hand. He's much higher than Jerry. He's got leverage. Now, yeah, there it is. Matt. Michael Todd wins got, the round. On you. But he's in noticeable pain. He did win it. One, two, three. Three Matt. rounds, three, three fouls. Three elbow fouls on Jerry Cataret, so it's 2-1 now with the best of five. Michael Todd's in pain. Wow. Oh elbow foul three times. Elbow coming right off the pad. Right off the pad. Yes, I know it hurts. Yeah, I know it hurts. Yeah, I feel it. That's good blood flow. Let's right. look back at the tail end of that win for Michael Todd, his first in this yeah, match. I'd rather see the match. They're both burning. Jerry with the third foul. They give it to Michael Todd, but look at him grimace. His arm is in, inflamed and in a lot of pain. Big I heart. Water, I water. Look at him fight. I love this. Under this is what the sport's all about. It really right here. is. This is what the sport is about. Can you fight through the pain and can you find a way to win? Well said, young man. Fans behind Michael Todd, Jerry Cantoret. 
Both men are going to use every second and then some. 35 between rounds and counting left now. This is turning into a monumental final round. I mean, this match itself was billed as a main event for a reason. We knew. Well, they nailed it. We <laughs> knew. These were very evenly it's matched. Shooting, right? It's shooting, right? It's fun. And it's like a sharp nerve. Electricity running through my hand. <laughs> wow. Michael Todd talking about possible nerve damage to his hand. You're talking he is risking his actual career on this match. His career, Ben. So much Big it means. Respect. So much That's it means. how much this means to yep. him. Cataract trying to win it. Michael Todd trying to even the score and make it a 2-2 match. Send it to the fifth pole for literally all the marbles. This is, li this is go, literally one of the best matches I've ever seen. No question. Wow. If Michael Todd can come back, Up, this may be oh, one of the greatest comebacks in bit, history. Yes, right there, close your thumbs. Just don't let him close on me, please. Close your hands. Uh oh. One, one foul curling in. Just close. Just close. So. Just close. He's got the foul. Foul on Cataract. He's got a foul right here. One foul on Jerry. Time. Go into the strap. 30 seconds, and then we'll see the strap applied once again. These guys can't pull it out. No. Okay. no. Too much Equal power. webbing. And contrasting angles palm of power. Palm. They have to have a strap. There's no other way they can contain that power. No other way. This is it. The pressure's on Jerry because it's his match to, to I need lose. This. I need this. If you can't win this round, I feel like it's Michael Todd's match. I'm sorry. Get right there. Just, just raise him up. Wow. The pain the he's dealing with. Everything's on the line. Yep. Here we go. On the ball. Now let's talk to Michael Todd before this match. He is so hungry, he wants us so bad. Uh, I don't, I don't okay. think there's many individuals that want to win second. more than Michael You're Todd. You're not moving your pain. Not in this okay. sport. No. Close your thumbs. Here, Here we, we go, go Max. Yep. Did Cataract end it? Or this will is he it. stay alive? No. Cataract digs in. Same spot. Same. Michael, up your shoulders just a little bit. You gotta keep it right there and you're good. Cataract trying to press him down. He's close. No finish yet. Not yet, you're right. And Todd's working higher and higher. Look at the angle. Look at the position of the Watch wrist. Elbow back. Keep it on the pad. Michael Todd, the monster. Look at the angle. The Jerry's shoulder. in trouble. Jerry's in trouble. Look at the position, Ben. He's up in his hand. Yeah. Jerry's in trouble. No, 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 stop. I'm in the fucking center. You can sit if it's center to win. No. No, if you're in the neutral position. Whew. It looks like you, your arm's going back that way out of neutral and you're dropping. That's two. No, it's one. No, it's one, one. <laughs> he got one, wow. one. Yeah. yeah. It was one, one. It's very one controversial. Well, no, you didn't as a match before. It was one yeah. foul, Jerry. One foul. One, one foul and one foul. foul. Jerry had the running foul first. Okay. Michael Todd yes. got a second for dipping the shoulder into the table. Yeah. You were ruled. Now, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why did you stop the match? Well, it's because I, I kept complaining. Because he, st he stood up and was walking. And so that's... Okay. Can we tighten your thoughts, Robins? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry <laughs> said, why did you stop the match? Okay. Let's go. He thought he was about to pin him. We're approaching two minutes into this poll. 
Jerry Cataract, the man you're looking at, the front of him, leading 2-1. He's on the right. Touch right. to my shoulder, please. I, I, when I go to start it, it's not on there, Jerry. Close your thumbs. Close your thumbs. Close your hands. Go. Oh, that was it. Bullshit. Jerry thought he had it. He did. But they didn't call it. But they didn't call it. Doesn't matter what I think, man. True. They didn't call it. I mean, both these guys are on fumes right now. Wow. Just hanging yeah, on. This is one of the most unbelievable on matches I've ever seen in my life. No question. Two fouls on Michael Todd. One Everything. Loses all it. the marbles, all the money, all the pride. Is that a pin? No. That one. No. They say no. It ain't over. No, it's not no. over. Ready to foul. Ready? What is it? What is it? My elbow. That was my forearm. My elbow never came off the pad. Hey, 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 the the right there, my forearm. Yeah, oh my God. You hit the money, it came bro. Off. Yeah, my forearm did. No, Your forearm did not touch the table. Review the tape. I guarantee. Listen, we I'll don't have you, review. I'll bet you five grand. We don't have a review. Oh, shit. Sit down. Two fouls, one foul. He has two. He just yeah. You have one. How do you have foul? I can't that? get a foul after you're in a foul. You have two it. fouls. You, you took your hand off the peg. That's why. Let's look back and see. I wiped the sweat out of my eyes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it came off. Yeah, yeah, that's a foul, Jerry. Yeah, it came off. His elbow just dove right into the money. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, come Right, on. exactly. Jerry saying, no, I didn't see no foul. <laughs> two to two one. And, oh, on two foul. to one. Okay, two here we one. go, gentlemen. Nope, not ready, not ready. I believe Jerry has the two Always fouls, Michael Todd with one. Watch quick. Cataract trying to end it. Close Watch for the hit right here. Oh, oh, foul. Yeah. Two to two. No, yeah. that's foul two. on top. Absolutely epic, and wow. I mean epic match. Wow. Takes it. Wow. Wow. This is unbelievable. Just incredible. That sounds good. That sounds good. Found me for fucking wiping sweat out of my goddamn mouth. Yeah, yeah. Turn that camera. We look back at the final seconds of the winning pull. I'm speechless. Yeah, I mean, foul called on Todd. Uh, I mean, he did move slightly early, but I just hate to see yeah, it on yeah. foul. Yeah, I agree with what it. What an epic match! Ended on a pin. Yeah, but big respect to Jerry Catterman. Oh Jerry's got the 4G. Woo! His wow. second appearance wow. in the Super Match Showdown Woo! series, and that's gonna close it out here from. 403 put on by the WAL here in Cleveland. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Though. Jerry Cataret talking to Bart Wood. So Max will be together in Norfolk in another month. Some of the highlights we'll see RVJ, Jordan Sill, Toddzilla will make an appearance. Ron Bath and Valerie Beach. We'll be there as well. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, wow, this is a great matchup, but man, I can't say enough about the matchups tonight, especially this main event. Uh, Jerry Pateret and Michael Todd did not disappoint. An absolute war in every sense of the word. Uh, it was a fun night. Great working with you again, Max, for all of our crew, Jason Fisher as well. That's it from Cleveland, as these Warriors have claimed their portion of more than 250,000 in prize money. Their eyes pointed to the grand finale in September where the WAL champions will be crowned and the wall hammer will be given out. Thanks for watching. My name is Ben Holden. Good night. Oh, oh, wow. yeah.